Good morning, beautifuls. It is Tuesday. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. But uh, for you guys, it won't be Halloween anymore or for me when this goes up. But I have recently made the transition over to veganism and I'll tell you like about my why and everything in another video. So like we'll leave that for another video. But basically, I just wanted to go over like what I'm eating currently. And I think that a lot of people would really benefit from that. So it's kind of gonna be like a vlog slash what I'm eating, kind of like a day in the life, I would say. I kind of look like a tore up mess right now, but I'm gonna look like that all day because everything I'm doing today doesn't require my face. Um, I'm just doing like some recording and editing for my gaming channel. So I'm not really like too worried about how I'm looking, except for I guess for you guys. But anyways, I didn't record my breakfast because I didn't know I was doing this until after the fact. I woke up around eight. It's now almost noon. It's gonna be lunchtime soon. But um, basically for breakfast, I'll insert a picture because I put it on my Instagram, but I had a vegan bagel, which most bagels are vegan. You just have to check and make sure that there's no like eggs in there. And um, I had a vegan everything bagel with, what did I have that with? Oh my gosh, the lighting right now. Uh, I put some Kite Hill cream cheese on it, some tomatoes, some nutritional yeast, and then I had a side of raspberries, which was so good. And I also had some chai tea on the side with it. And it was just like, oh, so amazing. I love it to death. But I wanted to quickly, this is not sponsored either. This is the Kite Hill cream cheese. I'm trying to get it to like focus. Focus on me. <laughs> this is the Kite Hill cream cheese. And actually, it's made from artisan almond milk. It's a little bit expensive. It was like $6 for... How many ounces is this? Does it even say? Eight ounces. So basically like the same as like a block of like milk produced cream cheese. Um, and it was like $6. So it was a little bit pricey, which does suck. I won't lie. But to me, like if you're eating plant-based, it really isn't expensive. It's just like the fancy like things that your diet doesn't really need that get pricey. So, but honestly, I liked it more than like traditional cream cheese, like animal-based cream cheese. Also, you guys be proud of me. I need to organize this still, so it's kind of like messy right now. But I just went through my entire fridge and freezer and threw away everything that wasn't vegan. So like there were eggs in here, I had chicken nuggets in my freezer, things that I like, I like I said, I'll talk about my like journey into it and why in another video, but like, it just feels so good to not have that stuff in my house. I feel so much better. And my husband, by the way, in case anybody's curious, is 110% on board. He, I feel like in the beginning, because we've been doing this for quite a few days, he in the beginning was more serious than I was. <laughs> and it took me a little bit longer. So yeah, we are totally on board together, which is really cool. It makes it way easier. Um, so yeah, clean everything out. Oh, also check this out. Best vegan ice cream ever. I actually... This was my favorite ice cream before I even made the transition. So like, it's that good. Like before I even went into that, I already loved it. I'm about to start recording for the day, which is like, that's what I do. If you guys don't know my other channel, I do gaming for a living on YouTube and I'm about to start recording for that. So I wanted to have a little afternoon pick me up. This mug I got from Target. I've had it for, I think about a year and I had tea in it this morning, but um, I'm just going to make this mountain blend. I think it's a good, I think it's a Smith's brand. Anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee. We're just gonna do an eight ounce and I'm going to put some of this in it, which is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. This is the pumpkin spice silk almond creamer. I hope you can hear me over the coffee machine. And I actually have two of them because this one's almost gone and I don't think it's quite enough for my coffee. I need at least two tablespoons, sometimes three, uh, just because it isn't quite as thick as what I'm used to with other like animal product creamers that I was drinking. Um, again, though, kind of like with the, uh, kind of like with the dairy-free ice cream, I've kind of already made the transition to almond creamer, so this was like easy for me as well. So really cool. So that makes two for two today that I ate before I showed you anything. I really need to get this vlogging thing down. Um, but I will show you what I had because I do have some leftovers. Sorry, I'm in my kitchen. Um, so I made this rice in my rice cooker. It doesn't have anything in it. It's just plain cow rose rice. Uh, this chili that I made chili on Sunday and I'm pretty sure like this needs to hurry up and get eaten because leftovers, they like, I get weird about leftovers after a while, but since there's no meat in it, I don't feel as bad. 
Um, but this chili, basically I put it in the crock pot for about 10 hours on Sunday and it was uh, a cup of lentils, black beans, kidney beans, corn, uh, a cut up peeled sweet potato, and then I used cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, oh, and onion as well went in there. Uh, what else? And vegetable stock and water. And I think that was it. Oh, and salt and pepper, obviously. But super delicious. And then this is my homemade salsa. Um, we, I think, are going to start batch making this because I have literally put this on almost everything I eat that's like my tofu scrambles, uh, my chili I like it on. Um, what else have I made that's just like, I put, I swear I put it on everything. I love it so much. And especially now that I feel like I can eat it. Something super interesting about this whole thing is before and after I had like gallbladder removal surgery recently, I had really bad heartburn. And I was always like, oh, it must be the spicy food. Like maybe I shouldn't eat spicy food, but I love spicy food so much. And I would get it every day, every single day. And I would have to take like over-the-counter omeprazole, things like that every single day. And ever since switching over to this kind of lifestyle, I don't get heartburn at all. And I eat all the salsa I want. And I don't know if it's like directly correlated, but I feel like it could be. So weird that taking out dairy and meat could do something like that. So really interesting, but I'm real happy about it. But anyways, I was just taking a break to show you guys what I had for lunch and I have to get back to work. So I'm currently cooking up some dinner. I'm doing a meatless loaf and I'll show you how it all comes together. I've never made this before, so we'll see how it goes. But I have some onion, garlic, uh, celery, mushrooms, carrots, all in here. I'm just sauteing them in water because that was what the recipe recommended instead of oil, which I'm not opposed to using oils at all. I'm not like an oil-free vegan. I love me some oils. Um, then I have some lentils cooking here, about two cups dried. It's supposed to make five to six cups in total. Um, I have some fresh parsley cut up, some rolled oats, uh, tomato paste, sage, soy sauce, uh, Worcestershire sauce, I think is how you say it, some organic no salt seasoning, some nutritional yeast, or that nooch, which is delicious. And then over there in the back, I actually have some ground flax meal that's sitting in about four tablespoons of hot water. And that's gonna like kind of be a binding agent for this entire thing. And I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes on the side when this bakes later on. I'm pretty excited about it, you guys. I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, guys, so this is about ready for the oven. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce that I'm gonna make myself over the top. But like, doesn't this look so good? I tasted the filling and it was also like really, really good. Like I'm so pumped for this. So this is how it came out. I'm sorry, I started eating without thinking about it, but it's pretty good. I think I need to try a different meatloaf recipe or if anybody has any suggestions, it'd be really helpful or meatless loaf rather, vegan loaf, I don't know. Um, it just didn't sit up as like dry as I would have liked it, but mashed potatoes, always fantastic. I use High Carb Hannah's recipe for mashed potatoes and the meatless loaf, I'll link the video that I followed if you guys are curious and maybe somebody can give me some tips on the loaf but it's pretty freaking good. I'm enjoying it. So I never said I was gonna be the healthiest vegan and I picked up this at Target tonight, which is the Amy's Rice Mac and Cheese, which is gluten-free and dairy-free. I don't really necessarily need the gluten-free, but um, why not? That's all they had. And then uh, some Sour Patch Kids, which are also vegan, which is really cool. So <laughs> um, never said I was gonna be the healthiest vegan in the world, but I thought I would try some of those things out. Okay, here it goes. It's hot though. Mm. It's good. It actually is really good, but it's like sticky. But the flavor's like, the texture's a little off, but I think if they weren't gluten-free noodles, it would be a lot better because I don't like need gluten-free, which awesome that we have options that for people that do, but. Um, yeah, I like it though so far. It's just like the one bite though, so let's, let's double dip. No, it's good. I like that. Hooray! Macaroni and cheese is like one of my favorite foods, so it was really killing me that I didn't have something, and I like this, so that's good. 
Anyways, that's probably gonna conclude this whole vlog experience. That was everything I ate for the day and I'll probably enjoy some water and that's gonna be about it for my night after this. And I will see you guys in a future video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I have my normal handles listed down below and then I have an Instagram that's just for this channel, which I would definitely recommend following and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.